All right. Getting ready to head to Beantown Brewery and... Or, no. Heading out of Beantown Brewery. Getting ready to head to... Uh, what was it? Diamond City. That's right. Diamond City. Uh, we've gotten caught in one of these fucking green radiation storms again. Which... Bites. It's not as bad as it could be. I mean, you only get irradiated when the lightning actually flashes, but... No radiation would be better than even a little bit of radiation. Uh, look at these tantalizing empty trailers. Just ugh. come on. No, nothing. It's all this. Ooh, I've had good luck with train cars. I suspect that I'm going to have no luck with... Yeah. Ouch? Ouch what? Cosworth, are you being attacked? No. Okay. Lord. Eh, yeah, we'll stick to the tracks. Looks like that takes us pretty much straight to Overland Station anyway. Um, I wonder if you can get hit by lightning. If you can get hit by lightning, that would really, really, really screw up a day. Overland Station. Hey, guys. Um, this is quaint. You guys asleep? If I'm getting this badly irradiated, and these storms are frequent, how the hell are you guys not just dead? Hi. Hey, you want to be a stepmom? Did the Minutemen send you? Yep. Of course. Just tell me what you need help with. There's a group of raiders that won't leave us alone, stealing our food and supplies and threatening us if we can't give them what they want. Okay. We know where they're coming from, but we can't stand up to them ourselves. Well, allow me to do that. How many? Any idea how many raiders we're talking about? No telling, I'm afraid. This time there were three. But who knows how many are back at their base? Their base wouldn't be a brewery, would it? Hello? What? Come on! What the... Oh. Backstreet Apparel? All right. Oh, I'm getting sidetracked again. Why do I let this happen to me? What's this blue glow? That's... That's unsettling. Wish you could pick these lichens. That'd be nice. Ooh, box of stuff. Okay, storm's passing. That's good. Oh. So I assume that there will be raiders around here somewhere. A boat. Oh. If I'm walking near the water, I'm going to get jumped by those crab things, aren't I? Probably. Curious about the boat. Is there any way to get over there? What the hell is that? Is that a... someone pull a whale out? Hmm. Is it possible to get on the boat? I'm not going to worry about it. I'm not going to worry about it. All right. That's... 
That's unfortunate. That's why you're not supposed to, you know, operate a drawbridge under the influence. So what do we got here? I mean, we're getting close to Diamond City, aren't we? Yeah, we're on the outskirts. I guess we can kill these raiders. And then... Oh. Was that footsteps or was that gunfire? Shit. Me? I'm here. That didn't work. Yeah, it stands to reason that there would be a lot of hulks around. Because, you know, the whole... I'm sure that gamma radiation emissions from the bomb drops were, uh, pretty substantial. How do you become a super mutant? And why why are they so easy to kill? Popular media would lead me to believe that anything giant and green and with a bad attitude is harder to take down than with a couple of sniper rifle shots. What is that? What is that? Um, it's not going to be worth it, is it? No, 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 come back, come back! No, no! Oh, saved you. Pfft, coffee tin. That wasn't worth it. Alright, keep an eye out for mines. Keep an eye out for mutants, keep an eye out for zombies, and keep an eye out for terminators. Perfect. This city sucks. It's like Detroit, but with working lighting. Hello? Yeah. You're done. take the missile launcher. Um, is that what I think it is? That? That was a clamp holding a missile launcher leading to a tripwire. That's the... Jeez, that's the most no-bullshit booby trap I've ever seen. Missile comes here. This entire thing... This whole intersection would be vaporized. I suspect that you did not run afoul of the missile launcher. You probably just got shot. Wow. Okay. We can negotiate if you want to, guys. But, uh, I doubt that you'll be open to that, so... I'm sneaking in. Well, that's... 
years back. Technically a smart move. Me and a couple friends found a young kid on the north side of the Charles. He wasn't that young, probably around 18 or so. Anyway, after hanging out with him for a while, it started to get dark, so I built a fire. What are you doing? And knocks the match out of my hand. He knocked the match out of your hand? Why'd he do that? Shh. Telling a story. So, yeah, he knocks the match out of my hand. I was so surprised that I swung and broke his nose. He said he was sorry. And get this. He said he was afraid of fire. <laughs> he was, was he Frankenstein? Fire? I just told you. Well, not Frankenstein. Frankenstein's fire. monster. You keep interrupting me. Jesus Christ! At this point, the flames were huge. Imagine what it must have been like for him, waking up, not knowing where he was, and all. Oh my God! The kid tries to stand up, but can't get his footing on the side of the mattress. At this point, I'm laughing so hard I fall down. That is crazy. Betty overcame his fear of fire. Trial by fire? Nah, he never did. Turns out the kid couldn't swim. Anyway, that's that. Jesus! What kind of fucking psychos are you? Where'd you go? Only a fucking coward hide. Oh. Really? Really? You put a kid on a mattress and set him up. Really? What an asshole. Um. Alright. You know what? Fuck you guys. I'm gonna kill you. Uh. I'm not going to be nice about it either. Jesus Christ! Shouldn't have killed you. Shouldn't have killed you like that. Should have killed the scabber. I couldn't identify which one was which, though. So, you know. Uh... We fit in there? No. Close enough, though. Come here, you. How about a little fire, psycho? God. All the reprehensible bullshit I've heard. That story takes the cake. For all I know, that kid who was afraid of fire could have been Sean. Oh, man. Dick.
lot of bones. I'm gonna make a bone room when I get back home. Really? So can I. Come here. fact. <laughs> How many turrets do you have? Nope. Mm, maybe? Nope. Mm, nope. Maybe. Yes. Ah. It's just a safe. Just a safe. As though there's anything more important than getting a whole bunch of stuff. What the? Oh boy. That about takes care of that. Does about take care of that. Made a big mistake, rookie. Rookie. I suppose that's a fair assessment. Um. This rookie's gonna come and kill you, though. A Carlisle typewriter? Man, I almost want to keep that just for decoration. Alright. Um, so fellas... We're gonna have a little chat about... You know, the proper way to treat people... Got it. ...in the wasteland. Setting kill on fire. Christ. Take your job. Come on. <laughs> uh, well, you have a sense of humor. I'll give you that much. note. Reload after every engagement. I always forget to do that. <gasps> Another grognak? Yes! Well, I don't really do unarmed. Maybe I should. I don't think I can pick this. Shit. I mean, if anyone deserved it, it would be these guys. Whipping them within an inch of their lives. Frickin' stick. Daylight. Well, did we did we successfully clear out your raider problem? Because if we did, I'm coming. I'm coming back to Overland Station. We're going back to Overland Station. Yeah. All right. Screw it. We're going home. Not home. Could be home eventually. I wonder if she wants to be a stepmom. Hey, farmer folks. Farm's not much, but it's something. How's it going? Did you have any luck with those raiders? Yep, wiped them out. Come on, what? Hey, hey! I took care of those raiders for you. 
can't remember the last time I had clean fingernails. Really? Well, that's the best news I've heard in a long time. By the way, we've talked about it, and we've decided to support the Minutemen. I Good. think it's worth giving it another chance. The only way things will get better is if we stand together. Hmm. Potentially. Where's your friend? Hey. Hey. Hello? You know what I call a good day? One that ends without an empty stomach. You want to be a stepmom? Just wanted to trade a few things. Okay. Mm, no. All right. Well, that's Overland Station done. Continue to expand our grasp on the wasteland. Diamond City. That is where our marker is. That is the direction in which we must go. And we will do so. Without being distracted anymore, I'm going to walk into Diamond City and do the stuff. Oh. Uh, are you guys going to have a conversation? No, you're not. Not a thing. At this point, I'm just assuming. Uh, are you going to talk about something that gives me, like, a map reference? No. Alright. To Diamond City. And adventure! <laughs>